Hey guys, Mark here with Long for the Ride. Hey, I've had a lot of uh, requests on my uh, rain barrel build and how to do it. It's really simple. I mean, this thing is so simple to build, so I thought I'd do a quick video on how to build one of these. Um, it's really cheap. It probably doesn't take 10, 15 minutes to build this. Like I said, we used this this one for our to water the chickens. All we did was all I did was add a gutter on top of the chicken coop here and it feeds right into the rain barrel. And we don't have to worry about any water to the chickens all summer long. Now once winter hits we'll have to change this around, but so anyway, let's get started and I'll show you how to build one of these. Alright guys, before we get started here, here's kind of a the things you're going to need, of course, you're going to need a, a plastic barrel here. Uh, you know, this, this barrel needs to be a food grade barrel. Wherever you get it from, you don't want anything that's had toxic chemicals or anything else in it. So make sure it's a food grade uh, barrel, that's a food product. Um, a few things you're going to need here. Uh, you're going to need a coupling here that will uh, actually screw and tie to the top of the hole here. That way you can add your fittings. However you want to do your connect it to your gutter or whatever you're going to need a bulkhead fitting this is what's going to screw into the bottom of the barrel and you know you don't necessarily need to be a bulkhead you could do pvc pipe fittings ones that screw together you just need to make sure you got a washer and different things so it doesn't leak uh, you're going to need a spigot uh, one thing you want to watch is when you're buying these spigots you know whatever uh, diameter thread here if you're, whether you're doing half inch or whatever you need to make sure you know you have the right size to screw into whatever fitting you're going to have on your barrel also you're going to need some thread tape thread tape to go around the uh, threads for everything so it doesn't leak you're going to need a hole saw now whatever hole saw you get you know whatever fitting you get here you know you're going to need to make sure it's the right diameter for you're fitting here you don't want to go too big you don't want to go too small so make sure you kind of have the right size hole saw and a drill oh one other thing you're also going to need is it uh some string just some light string i use kite string and this is the trick here how you get this in uh, you're just going to need some type of nut or something heavy you know to tie tie onto this string now we are doing this with a totally sealed top on a barrel i mean this this lid does not come off so this is kind of the trick you know on how we can get all the way to the bottom uh, you know with this hole and get everything mounted in here this is going to be really simple really easy to do all right before we start drilling holes in this barrel uh, I do want you to know that your two holes up here there's two different size threads that go in these barrels one is going to be your pipe thread that you can screw your fitting into one the other is just an oddball size so you need to decide you know, if you're going to run your guttering into the side where you have the uh, pipe threads that you can do your fittings on, where do you want your hole in the barrel? So that's going to be very important for you to decide. I mean, you just don't want to put that hole anywhere uh, and then not be able to have it filled through your, your guttering or whatever, how you're going to have it set up. So anyway, make sure you see which side you're going to have your water going into and then to decide on where exactly you want to drill your hole in the barrel. All right, now if you've kind of decided, uh, you know, which, which hole you're going to be using for your guttering and where you want your hole, I usually kind of just follow the seams. Most of these barrels, if you see the seam line running in between here, also runs down the side of the barrel. So I know my hole is going to be pretty much in line. It's going to be in line with the holes up here. So I know my gutter is going to be on this, or I, the threaded part over here for my guttering. So I want my hole over here. So as it's filling, I still have my spigot over here on the other side. All right, so now that I know where, which side I want my hole, I just got to come up so far. You know, here's, you don't want to go measure from the bottom because you're going to have a little bit of a ridge here. I usually try to come up about two inches or so, two to three inches maybe. That'll give a little room down here for uh, sediment or whatever gets in there to also settle to the bottom. Um, so then I'll just get started right there. 
and then we'll just put our hole in. And there you have it, we got our hole. Now I got lucky this time and my plug stayed on my hole saw. So I don't have to fish it out, but if, that, if this plug actually falls inside, it's no big deal. Just tip it upside down and you can get it out the holes over here. All right, now that we have our hole in the barrel, this is where your string and a weight, you can have just a nut, whatever, but you need to tie something heavy on the end of this string. So you just need to tie something on the end of that string heavy like this. Now what we're going to do, this is the, the little trick we're going to do. We're going to take this, drop it down this hole until it gets to the bottom. And pull it out. So now you've got your string running out through the top and the bottom. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bulkhead fitting and we're gonna thread it through the string. Now you gotta be, watch which way is it going on the string so when it gets down there it comes out the right way in the hole. So, I'm gonna take this, I've got my washer, I want the washer on the inside. You can also put some silicone around the outside if you want. I'm just gonna take this, then just drop it down the barrel, but it's still on that string. So now I can sit here and just kind of pull on both strings. And there it is, sticking out the bottom of the hole. So once I've done that, I can either leave the string and just push that nut on through there. Now I'll have to kind of hold the inside of this while I screw that on. And there I've got it somewhat snugged up on there. Now what I'm gonna do is get a pair of pliers and go ahead and tighten that up more. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my big pliers here. I'm gonna hold that in there and tighten this up. Now you may be noticing on this fitting, I'm screwing the opposite way. This is a left hand uh, thread on this fitting. So I'm just gonna snug it up there nice and tight. Now that that's all in and tight, I can go ahead and pull this string all the way out. I don't need it anymore. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to take the uh, thread tape and uh, put tape all over the end of the threads on the spigot here and then we'll tighten that up on there. Take that off and then we'll just screw our spigot. So it's nice and snug. Then we'll tighten it up just a little bit more here. Stop right there. And there you have it. You got your spigot down the end of a barrel and this is all on a sealed barrel. All right, now we got to screw it in there. You can buy all types of different size adapters, you know, to go up to the guttering, different sizes you want there. You know, you're gonna to want to plug off, screw the cap back in this other side here to seal it off. But yeah, this, uh, guys, this takes about 10 minutes to do. And I probably don't have more than maybe $15 in this. Now the barrel may cost, it depends where you where you can find the barrels. Uh, they, these barrels may cost you anywhere from five to 20 bucks. It just depends on where you find them at. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you see how easy these barrels are to make with a seal top on like this. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it below. We'll get to you as soon as we can. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our channel for our next videos, any upcoming updates we're gonna have. And until the next time, we'll see y'all later.